making the piece of cake triangle scarf. This is a great beginner level triangle scarf. I really love triangle scarves. I love the shape. I love the way they lay across the front. I think they're so flattering. Sometimes they can feel a little bulky. Um, and this one in particular it does not feel bulky at all because we're actually going to sew it in the back. Um, so it's not as big as it looks. So it gives you that cute, bulky look of a triangle scarf without actually feeling that way on your neck. For today, I'm going to be using Lion Brand Touch of Alpaca. I'm going to use it in three different colors. I have cream, taupe, and blush. Um, you can use any worsted weight yarn. I've made this scarf using a yarn cake, a self-striping yarn cake, and I've also made it using Red Heart Super Saver. So you can use any worsted weight yarn that you like. I really do love this yarn. It's one of my new favorites. So I can't wait to see this scarf worked up in these three colors together. You'll also need an H5 millimeter crochet hook, a yarn needle, and some scissors. So we're going to get started by joining, by getting our yarn onto our hook. So however you like to do that, go ahead and get your slip knot on your hook. And we're going to start with a chain four. Now I'm going to slip stitch to the first chain to make a ring. I'm going to insert my hook into that first chain and I'm going to slip stitch. And you can see I have this circle right here and that's where I'm going to be working my stitches for the first row. So I'm going to start with a, I'm going to start with a chain three. And this chain three counts as a double crochet throughout the pattern. Now I'm going to do two double crochet in this ring right here. So I'm going to yarn over, insert my hook into this ring, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops on my hook, and yarn over and pull through two loops on my hook. Now I'm going to do another double crochet. Now I'm going to chain two. And then work three double crochet into this loop or circle that we made. One, two, three. And there is row one completed. For row two, I'm going to chain three and turn my work and I'm going to double crochet in this same stitch. So now we have two double crochet at the beginning of our row because this chain three counted as a double crochet. So we have two double crochet in this first stitch. Now I'm going to double crochet in the next two stitches. Now I'm to my chain two space and this is going to be a corner. This is what's going to create my middle corner um, throughout my triangle. So I'm going to do two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet all in this chain two space. So two double crochet, one, two. Now I'm going to chain two and two double crochet again in this same space. Now you're going to double crochet in the next two stitches. And our last stitch is the chain three from the previous row because that counts as a double crochet. And in that last stitch, we're going to do two double crochet. So now you can already see um, how our triangle is forming. So we're going to be increasing on each, the first and last stitch in each row, and then also increasing in the corner space. And it's just going to grow and grow and grow. And that's how we make our big triangle scarf. So now, 
So now for row three, we're going to chain three and turn. I'm going to double crochet in the same stitch and in the next five. So basically I'm going to double crochet all the way across to this chain two space. Now I'm to the chain two space. And again, in the chain two space, we're gonna do the same thing we did in the previous row. We're gonna do two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. One, two, chain two, and then two double crochet, two more double crochet. Now you're going to double crochet in the next five. So you're gonna do it all the way across to the last stitch. So here I am at the last stitch of the row and I'm going to do two double crochet in this last stitch. And there you have completed row three. Now for round four, you're going to chain four And turn and this chain four counts as a double crochet plus one chain one then you're going to double crochet in the same stitch you're going to chain one skip one stitch and double crochet in the next and then this row this is what's going to create that open eyelet look every few rows so again, we're gonna chain one, skip one stitch, and double crochet in the next. Chain one, skip one stitch, double crochet in the next. Again, chain one, skip one stitch, and double crochet in the next. And we're right there at that last stitch right before our corner. So we're going to chain one. And then we're going to do one double crochet, chain two, one double crochet in this chain two space. One double crochet, chain two, one double crochet all in this space. I'm going to chain one and I am going to double crochet in this next stitch right here. Chain one, skip one stitch, double crochet in the next. Chain one, skip one stitch, double crochet in the next. Chain one, Skip one stitch and double crochet in the next. Chain one, skip one stitch, and now we're in the last stitch of the row, so we're going to double crochet. Chain one, and then double crochet in that same stitch again. And that is row four. Now for row five, we're gonna do another row of solid double crochet. So I'm gonna chain three and turn. I'm gonna double crochet in the same stitch. And then in each stitch and chain space across. So I'm gonna double crochet in this chain space. 
double crochet in the next stitch and I'm going to do that all the way across to my corner chain 2 space so double cr crochet in each chain space and each double crochet until you get to this corner space right here now into my corner space and I'm going to do that two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet, all in this chain space. Oopsies. Now I'm going to repeat what I did on this side, down this side. I'm going to double crochet in each stitch and chain space all the way to my last stitch. And here I am, I'm at that chain four turning chain that we had at the last row. So remember if this counts as a double crochet plus a chain one. So I do have a chain one space right here that I need to put one double crochet into. Now I'm going to do two double crochet in the top of this chain three turning chain. So that is row five. Rows six and seven are going to be worked the exact same way. You'll have two double crochet at the first and last stitches and then in your corner space, two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. So you'll have your two double crochet, double crochet all the way to your chain two space, where you'll, where you'll do that corner, two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. Then one double crochet all the way down this side till you get to the last stitch where you do two double crochet in the last stitch. So you need two more rounds of this same um, repeat. So I finished all the way to row seven. I did two more rows of this row repeat where I double crocheted in each stitch across and working my increases on all of the three corners of my triangle. So the next row is gonna be another row of these eyelets and it's gonna be pretty much the exact same as this row four was. So for row eight, we're gonna chain four and we're gonna turn our work and I'm going to double crochet in this same stitch. I'm going to chain one. I'm going to skip one stitch and double crochet in the next. Chain one. Skip one stitch and double crochet in the next. Chain one skip one stitch and double crochet in the next. And repeat that all the way across to your chain two corner space. So here I am at the stitch right before my chain or I have I'm one stitch before my last stitch of this side. So I'm going to skip this stitch and I'm going to chain one, skip this stitch, and I'm gonna do one double crochet, chain two, one double crochet for that corner space. Now I'm gonna skip this stitch right here, so I'll chain one, skip one stitch, and double crochet in the next. chain one, skip one stitch, double crochet in the next. And repeat that all the way across to the last stitch of the row. 
So here I'm at the last two stitches, so I'm going to skip this one and I'm going to work a double crochet in this last stitch, which is my turning chain. I'm going to chain one and then double crochet again in that same stitch. And that is basically all you need to do for this entire triangle scarf. You're going to do, again, do three rows of solid double crochet. So repeat rows five, six, and seven, and then repeat row eight. Then five, six, seven, and repeat row eight. Repeat five, six, seven, and eight. So you're going to do that all the way to row 24. So if you are changing colors and you're using three colors, you're going to want to change colors every eight rows. So I'm actually going to change color for my next row. And I'll show you how I do that. So I'm going to grab my second color. And how I do that, how I change colors, I'm actually going to undo this last stitch. And whenever I change colors, I always pull through the new color in my last step of the last stitch of my previous color. So I'll show you what that means. So I'm going to go ahead and yarn over and insert my hook into this stitch. I'm going to yarn over and pull up a loop and yarn over and pull through two. I still have two loops on my hook here. Now instead of pulling through this color, I'm going to pull through my new color. So this is going to be my new color for my second color of my scarf and pull that one through. Now. I'm going to be working in this new color. I'm going to go ahead and cut my yarn for my first one. And I'm going to continue with my second color. So I'm just going to continue repeating rows five through eight all the way to row 24. So this is, so I'll have three rows of solid double crochet and then one row of these eyelets. Here I have my completed piece of cake triangle scarf. I repeated those rows all the way to row 24. You could see it's not very big, so it's definitely not big enough to wear as a shawl or a wrap, but you could easily just continue this pattern um, and make it any size you want if you wanted to have a larger size for a shawl or a wrap. But I'm gonna go ahead and stop here on row 24. And I went ahead and cut my end and I left a long end because we're gonna use this for sewing. But before we sew, we are gonna add some fringe to these chain spaces in the last row. So for the fringe, I'm going to use this first color. Um, I've also done it where I've used a combination of colors or I've used striping yarn. Um, but for this one, I think I'm just gonna use this first color that I used for the scarf. And I wanna cut pieces of yarn a little more than twice the length I want my fringe. And I want my fringe to be about five inches long I like kind of a long fringe. So I'm gonna have my fringe be about five inches long. So I think I'm gonna cut my pieces at about 12 inches. So, so I'm gonna cut them at 12 inches and it's just an approximation. Definitely nothing exact or perfect. And I don't even really count them. I just do a bunch add them to my scarf and then make more as I need it. All right, so here I have some 12 inch pieces cut out. I'm gonna go ahead and start adding them to these chain one spaces in my last row of my piece of cake triangle scarf. So I'm gonna take three of them. So I have three of my pieces I'm going to insert my hook into this um, cha first chain one space and I'm going to fold these in half. I'm going to pull them through that chain one space just about an inch or so, inch and a half. I'm going to take my hook out. Then I'm going to put my fingers in that loop I just made and grab the ends and pull it through that loop and then pull it tight. I'm going to repeat that all the way across. 
So it is a lot of fringe. I like a lot of fringe. But if you wanted to do it every other space or every three spaces, however you want to do it, would work just fine. Or no fringe. Or tassels. However you want your scarf to look. Whoopsies. Careful not to pull the other ones through. And just keep doing this all the way across. Once you have finished adding all of your fringe to your project, I like to turn it over to the right side. I get it all nice and even, as even as you can. You can see my lengths of yarn are all over the place. We are going to fix that up right now. I like to brush it out with my fingers, make it as even as I can. Okay. And then kind of decide on the length that you want your fringe to be. I'm thinking around five inches. So I'm thinking about here is where I'm going to cut all the way across. Just start on one end. And this is an approximation. I'm certainly not making this exact at all. Just going to start cutting. all the way across and I move it out of the way make sure it's pretty even I'm going to do that for my entire project now that I've added all my fringe and I've trimmed it up what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew this top portion closed so I'm going to turn it this way and I'm going to fold it over and I'm going to overlap I don't know two inches or so right here and I'm gonna take this long end and I'm gonna sew this closed right here. Because this is just a scarf, it's gonna be worn like a cowl um, around the neck. Definitely not big enough to wear as a shawl or a wrap. So we're gonna sew it so that it stays on the neck nice and comfortably. Uh-oh, I think I grabbed a piece of, oh no, it didn't. Just whip stitch this closed. And then weave in this end. There you are all done with your piece of cake triangle scarf. I hope you love it. Don't forget to share a picture with me. Um, tag me on Instagram in your finished makes. Use hashtag hooked on homemade happiness so I could see it and share it. I love seeing all your guys' finished products. I hope you love it. Thanks so much for joining me. Mm -hmm.